All right, everyone, I'm working on the guides now, but contest mode is officially off and vault is going to be flooded. So let's go over the secret chest locations and how to get the Chatter White 2.0 shader, Bitter Pearl. To get the shader, you need to collect 12 hidden shard slash collectible things in the Vault of Glass instance. The first two are outside of the Vault of Glass during the door opening phase. You can grab these before or after opening the door. It's completely up to you. The first is underneath the left hill that leads up to the vault door. Look for a cave on the ground level and head all the way back. On the left will be the first shard. The next one is off to the right side next to a big tree. You're gonna go basically as far right as possible and then forward as if you were going to the next Venus area. Find this tree and behind it is shard number two. The first hidden chest isn't actually hidden at all. It's right as you open the vault door on the left, but it counts for the triumph, so it's a hidden chest. The next shard is right before the secret path of Vault of Glass, aka right next to where the chest used to be in Destiny 1. Right as you approach this area, before you jump down, take a little detour behind this rock. To access the first of a couple of secret paths, you need to jump off of this cliff facing backwards, and then you'll see a tiny slot to jump into. Descend down this path until you find an inactive plate. This plate is used for Vex Mythoclast. We're not going to worry about it right now. The second chest is right here, right in front of you as you're making your way down. And the fourth shard is also here in a tree right next to where the chest is. Just look up behind the chest. The fifth shard is on the normal path to Templar, but you can get there by just going to Templar from the secret path and then taking the normal path in reverse. Get to the big platform before you would normally turn right to jump onto the cliffs. You're going to go to the very end of this block and then jump down onto the small ledge that's there. Then jump around the corner for the next shard. The sixth shard is after Templar. You're going to take another secret path in a hole in the wall on the left side of the arena. Before going down the actual path, though, jump up on the ledge to your right for the shard. Take the secret path almost all the way down. Before the final drop, you're going to look for a small hole in the wall and go through it. This is the old no-teleport chest location from Destiny 1. In place of a chest is a shard. The next two shards and the next chest are in the Gorgon Maze. Shard 8 is off to the right side up on a rock, very close to where you start the maze. Shard 9, on the other hand, is as far back into the maze as you can possibly go. But you'll need to go back here anyway, mostly, to activate the third chest. Take the old Destiny 1 up on the rocks route. Before entering the main part of the maze, when you're in that little puddle of water before you really start, look to your right and you should see a tiny sliver of a Vex cube in the air. Shoot it, because you're going to need to shoot all three of these to open a door which will lead to the chest. Next, just follow along on screen for the rock route while avoiding Gorgons. The second cube will be after the second big jump that you do to the final big rock. Turn left after landing and you should see it. When the coast is clear, drop down and head left to the back of the maze. Shard 8 will be here, be sure to scoop it up, and then continue making your way around until you eventually see and shoot the third cube. Now, you need to go all the way back to the beginning of the maze because the chest is in the direction of the 8th shard that you picked up. 
You're just going to hug the right side wall, and eventually you'll hit a big open doorway, assuming you shot all the cubes. Grab that loot, and then go through the maze again. Shards 10, 11, and 12 are all in this jumping puzzle area before Atheon. Before dropping down via jumping puzzle, take this path off to the left until you reach a cliff. It's going to be a little dark. Then, you're going to drop down to a big ledge. There's a hole in the wall here. Go through and grab the shard. Shard 11 is by Notch Boss, aka the very tiny ledge that you would take if you take the normal route. Watch for some small slots in the wall, and when you can enter one, go in, turn right, and there's shard number 11. Oh, oh, I found one. Oh my god, I'm so sp smart. Oh, everyone else is so dumb, except for me. Holy shit. The final hidden chest is right before the big pathway to the doorway to Atheon. You're going to scale some walls on the left side here, and you should see it pretty easily. It'll be high up on a ledge. And finally, the final shard is in the doorway room before Atheon. Scale some walls here, and it'll be up on a ledge on the left. Bam done all chests all collectibles for the shader you don't need all the chests for the shader that's just for a separate triumph you need all of the shards for the shader congrats to those of you who cleared vault during the challenge mode there were 2813 total clears including multiple runs by the same people before time was up with the final team finishing 19 seconds before the challenge was over to those entering the contest free vault I'm sure it's going to be a breeze if you're at level, but I am working on guides right now, just in case you need a little help. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.